Welcome to Desert Nights. Hey guys, we just finished our safari tent and now each of us is going to give you a little bit of a tour around it today. What's going on guys? My name's Eric. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about how we got the land and everything. So we got the bell tent over there and that's we chose over there because there was a really nasty looking RV over here that we ended up pulling out uh, to make the safari tent look a lot better. Now there's no gnarly RV in the background. We just kind of found the land because we were going to go through a tax lien process that didn't end up working out. So although now we actually have that land as of recording this, otherwise, um, I mean, we own this land too outright and yeah. So now I'm going to touch a little bit on the deck design here. So we went with these concrete footers that don't need to be embedded in the ground at all. You just uh, rest them on top of the dirt, level them all out. And then for the frame, it's entirely made out of two by sixes. The deck is 20 feet by 16 feet wide. And we kind of did a unique thing where the outside area is lined with composite deck boards, just like our previous deck. But then on the inside, we've got real flooring, vinyl flooring, so it kind of gives it a more homey vibe. In addition to the deck, we got this decorative trim along the edge, which to be honest was partially made because of a measuring mistake, but I think it looks pretty good. And um, yeah, that's about the deck. It's a lot simpler than our previous deck. Hey guys, I'm going to be going over the interior uh, for our new site here at the Safari Tent. Uh, so just off the bat, uh, with this place, looks a lot better and has a lot more amenities because the bell tent is actually a lot smaller than this one. This one's a lot bigger and spacious. Just uh, from the start, full, full wood fire stove right here. Uh, that's just going to keep this whole room nice and warm. Kitchen right here was a nice design because it's actually a, it's a workbench that we bought from, I think, Homeco. Um, and we painted it and redesigned it to it for it to be a kitchen. It's real simple. We have some nice drawers here with the knives, cutting board, um, spoons, forks, everything you need. We got some pants, plates. We'll have water in here for the guests. Um, we'll have salt, pepper, sugar, and coffee available, along with the pot itself and all our mugs. Um, and then we also got uh, uh, the biggest thing here is also the stove we have is it's uh, completely propane which is right under here and it's all attached together and on top of that is our cooler um, that is pretty spacious uh, it's gonna come with ice packs um, so that's another thing on top of what comes with the stain here um, so then we're gonna go off to uh, our living space here this is actually kind of my favorite part uh, this palette right here we stained and recreated and add some legs to it so it's a nice little playful area to do to eat um, to have in front of the couch or to play games as well we just put this together the other day ah, little foosball game you know we have plenty of more games down here that is uh, completely fun um, this uh, couch right here is actually uh, a bed as well it, it opens up, uh, has plenty of pillows, blankets, and anything else that you may need. It's com it comes with extra comforters. So you can see here, it's uh, this is our bed frame right here that we created ourselves with some uh, 4x4s. Uh, right underneath there are these like beanbag chairs that you could uh, scoot up to the coffee table and eat your food if you like. Um, or scoot it back down over here. This bed right here ah oh, it's so comfortable we got a high quality mattress because uh, that's very important with every night's day i think that's the biggest thing with our gladby spa is that we provide a lot of extra extra amenities and comfort to what it's still uh pretty much glamping um with that we got some clothes rack here on the side um along with yoga mats in the basket which will have extra blankets right here there as well the chalkboard right here, we have yet to uh, put anything on there, but it's going to have the name of our site 
Um, and it's going to be available for guests to uh, put where they're from. Uh, we have people all over from the U.S. that uh, come here uh, and stay in our site, so it'd be nice to know where exactly they're from. Um, just so you can see, we have lamps at both ends, LED lights, uh, saves power, along with the USB import uh, to charge your phones. Um, completely well designed, bunch of pillows, comforters, sheets, everything to keep you nice and warm. One of my favorite things here, actually, it's the drapes that we added to uh, to the roof of this. Um, just it looks very homey, it looks comfortable. It actually provides a little bit of a cooler area to this half of the room, um, along with a more dimmed um, area as well. Uh, I just I got the idea just from loving the Harry Potter movies, where in one of the tents they just have a bunch of drapes. Uh, I would love to put more, but I think this is this is good enough for now. All right, hey guys, I'm going to talk about the outdoor area we have here. We really take pride in our outdoor spaces and amenities. It, I think it sets us apart from other Airbnbs in the area. So uh, the foundation of it is uh, the ground, the rocks. We've got these really nice rocks uh, called Cactus Berry. We uh, got about a ton of them every day in Hunter's truck and loaded them out here and shoveled them and got them all over the place and then after a nice rainstorm like everything looked really nice then we've got the our classic white rocks on the outside all these rocks are from the area that we've picked up and uh, the contrast looks really good it's one of our favorite things about our outdoor area and then we've got our amenities we've got a uh, picnic table of course eating playing cars whatever you want to do nice bench over here with gas cans it's very unique we've got our classic cornhole here see it only took one take not 25 like hunter last time tonight's our first night turning them on but we got these really nice string lights we really enjoy the look of these at our last site and uh decided to go for them again and uh this whole place should look really good at night and a classic nighttime activity hanging out by the fire pit we've got a really nice one this time around got a uh, homemade chairs another gas can bench we're gonna have our first fire tonight i'm gonna cook some food over it it's gonna be nice and uh you can do that too if you want <laughs> and over here where it's gonna be dark we've got the solar lights and uh yeah that's our outdoors so our safari tent does have power we have a 125 amp hour uh, deep cycle battery that is connected to a fuse box a charge controller and an inverter the inverter changes the power from direct current to alternating current so household appliances can be used um, solar power comes into the charge controller back there and then it goes out into the system and it charges the battery and the charge controller also helps regulate um, the voltage that is going through it. And we have a nice little battery monitor up here that tells you the percent of the battery and the voltage running through it. So now we'll go outside and we'll go around and we're going to take you through the solar panel and um, how it runs to the water pump. So we ran a line of conduit from the tent down here underground and then it goes to the solar panel right here. And we have another line of wire that ran underneath the solar panel from the fuse box all the way through here to our water pump back here which andres built a lovely shed to house our propane tank for our heated shower and to protect the water pump from rain sun any inclement weather like that so let's take a look inside so outside of our bathroom here here is the switch to turn on the water pump we have a little spigot for hand washing or dishwashing or anything that you might need with a little shelf and a mirror. And inside of our bathroom, we have our shower right here with a water heater that you can control the temperature of the water and a little valve to turn on the rainfall shower head. We also have a nice little composting toilet. So it's a bucket and we've got some cocoa here and um, so you do your business, take a scoop of cocoa coir, throw it over, and then once the bucket is filled later on, we'll empty it, bury it somewhere, and it becomes a nice compost that's good for the earth and good for growing some, some nice veg. I'm going to talk about the new plumbing for our new bathroom at the Safari Tent site. It's a lot better than our previous bathroom, which had a lot of uh, issues with leaking, um, noise, 
rain getting into places, wind, and we fixed all of that in this new bathroom. So everything starts here at our water tank. This is 275 gallons. And we have an actual fitting here that fits this connection well, unlike our previous bathroom. And then we got this water line traveling to our nice little waterproof shed. And this thing is really nice, um, mainly because being waterproof, our last pump actually got water inside the motor, which um, we had to buy a new one for that. So this is completely protected from the elements. Water goes in here, comes out through here from a removable joint, which makes it easy to replace the water pump in the future if anything does happen. And then we go here where the water splits into two different uh, lines. First line being for our spigot and the second line being for our shower. So now we'll go inside. Here's the spigot line I mentioned. And then inside we've got the inlet going into the water heater. Water heater obviously heats up the water. Water exits through there, goes behind, and then you've got our on-off switch here. So the water just is flowing here. This is off, this is on, goes back up through here. Beautiful shower. And then another improvement we've made with this bathroom was the structure of it. So we did the same thing with the four corner posts being four by fours that are embedded into the ground with concrete. But then we went with a much more robust roof on this one um, and a smaller gap around the edge so rain can't really fly in sideways. And the biggest improvement has been using this, um, I think it's called tongue and groove shiplap wood so no wind can be blowing through here blowing the water and the toilet paper and the cocoa qua everywhere but yeah all right guys hope you enjoy the tour of our new safari tent it's up now on airbnb link will be in the bio along with our instagram and uh, any other links like our tiktok don't forget to like and subscribe and uh hope you come stay with us Is recording. Are you coming now in? Now video, now Look this. On today's episode of Desert Nights. Today's episode of the Nate episode. What's going on, guys? <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Eric, and <laughs> hold up, someone's calling. I'll call my mom back later. What am I saying? Why is the noise, Dick? Man? <laughs> what else did I say? I don't know. So, our safari tent does have... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... A f yeah. Yeah. Nice. Right, so it took two go. minutes.